sorry, Bill. I just, um, you know, I don't understand how a button from your coat ends up in Charlie's apartment if you say that you have never been there. Well, I, I don't understand it either. Ahem. Detective Hernandez and I were just discussing that button. Oh, and look at that. It matches your coat, which is clearly missing a button. That was quick work. Well done. I'll go call the mayor. Well, hang on. I haven't finished questioning Bell yet. Did she admit that the button came from the coat? Well, I, I mean, it looks the same, but, but nothing. Arrest her. And for all the freedom to move their way, diapers. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sorry, I'm late. I ran into Allie at the pub. No problems at all. Let me see what you got. Lamb chowder and apple pie. That's your favorite, right? It's very thoughtful of you. Thank you. Thank you for letting me move back in. No thank yous are necessary. <laughs> we are happy to have you. So how's Allie doing? <sighs> A lot better now that her and her mom are off the hook for killing Charlie. Hmm. Yeah. You know, she seemed really relieved when Rafe said that he thought you were innocent, too. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty sad how it turned out, but uh, at least Allie and I can now just move on with our lives. Okay, come sit. Hey, boy. Mm. Time to eat. I'm practicing my waitress at the pub skills. Yeah, Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go, baby. Oh, it's huh. great. <laughs> so you are starting rounds at the hospital tomorrow. It's very exciting. Yes, yes, I feel very lucky. Just having this very clear direction on exactly what I want to do. Ali's, uh, Ali's kind of lost in that part right now. Well, oh, that's understandable. Yeah, she wants to, she wants to find a job, you know, earn some money, so she has to keep hanging on the cold, but. I told her that you know, I'm on break from hospital and I'll help her out with him as best I can. Yeah. When she goes on interviews, I mean. It's very sweet of you, Trip. So what does she want to do? <laughs> she has no idea. But Allie's really, really smart. And she's really cool. I mean, uh, anybody that meets her likes her right away. I mean, how did she not, right? I know something will happen for her very soon. Wow, dude. Blessed. Well, the way you're talking about Allie, seems like you're really smitten with her. Mom, I need to talk to you. It's urgent. Can you please call me as soon as you get this? What's wrong? I just found out that my mom cut a deal with Jan Spears. I've been trying to reach her to find out what the hell she was thinking, but she's not picking up. Oh, um, okay, well, Henry and I can go. We can give you some privacy. No, 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 it's, it's fine. It's not like there's anything I can do to change it, so I might as well look on the bright side. Is there a bright side? Well... Mom only agreed not to press charges against Jan if Jan agreed not to press charges against my grandfather. Okay, well, that's a relief. Sort of. I mean, I know Grandpa John will be furious that Jan isn't going to prison, but yeah, at least he isn't either. When we went into their place that night, Sean was doing his best to try. Calm Bell down. He. he he tried to get her to take her coat off, and she refused. You remember that, don't you? I do. It was definitely the same coat I saw. It's the same red coat. What else do you remember? 